All right. Well, we're doing this. Uh, I had a little problem yesterday, which is that one of the fuel injectors had a uh, seriously bad O-ring. So those guys are replaced now, which actually is probably a good move anyway. Uh, first step is I am going to run my magic tool here uh, to run the fuel pump so that I don't have to crank for a long period of time because it's been sitting, the fuel rail's been off, etc. The whole engine's been out. Uh, got a timing light at the ready over there. Uh, my only goal right now is see if it runs and uh, set the timing. Um, we'll see how this goes. All right, so uh, tool gets plugged in. Pull the fuel pump fuse. Plug it in. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Maybe you can. Anyway, fuel pump is running. I'm gonna let that run for a minute. Well, maybe not a whole minute, but 30 seconds. Uh, while that's doing that, I'll do a quick recap on the inside. Uh, the other reason I can't let it run for very long is I have a wrong size battery and literally uh, no heat shield. So uh, I definitely don't want it to get hot. The interior is still torn apart, uh, which is fine. Uh, oil pressure gauge is still there. Transmission is uh, in neutral, so uh, when I start it, uh, I can do that. That whole disaster right there is uh, me testing all of the uh, interior light bulbs, which of course, as they all are, are all dead, so that's on the to-do list. All right, that should be probably good enough for uh, fuel pump. Should have pressure. That guy out. Place the fuse and uh, that guy out of the way. Right on. All right, let's see. Power, power. I don't really need those guys, but whatever. Let's do this the right way. All right, let's see what happens. That is my dead starter. I forgot about that. Found that yesterday. Hopefully it's enough to start the car. Not so great. Well, this may be for nothing. Ah, shit. One more try. Well, good enough for me. All right, be sure I'm not grenading my motor. Well, this I am sure is not right. Unless it really is not right. Not really what you want to see. Let's go uh, do some troubleshooting and come back to this. Uh, it occurs to me the answer is maybe I'm an idiot because my starter box probably doesn't power up the uh, circuit that runs the oil pressure gauge. <laughs> there you go. Uh, well, it's not exactly what I would want to see. 50-ish pounds seems kind of low. Um, let's see if we can... Mm -hmm. Well, I suppose there's a couple possibilities, including some pretty thin oil. Uh, it could also be this gauge. It's not zero, so... Uh, I don't think I'm doing any damage here. Probably need to look into that later, but I'm gonna go ahead and set the timing and uh, call it a day. <laughs> 